What is the conclusion? Lamentation chapter 3 and verse 27. The Bible says it is good that a man bear his yoke in his youth. There is timing. Every time is not the most convenient time. Now listen to me. You see the reason why we pray for things like restoration and things like speed. Because by default, there are people whose seasons are already against you. But these systems of advantage come by the Spirit to help you remedy. Many of you right now, your seasons of glory are almost changing, but you did not build capacity. The time you should be spent praying, you were criticizing and talking about people. The time you should be fasting and building energy in the Spirit. Now they have made you the pastor of a parish in two weeks you have no messages again because the 10 years of preparation as an usher the 10 years of preparation as a a sanctuary keeper it was not about sanctuary keeping it was preparation but you ignored it because your eye was looking at the stage and the preparation that should happen within that season there are many clerks today who are governors in disguise but rather than learning, they are complaining. My boss is a greedy man. He gives everybody 10, 10 million. Men of God come and he gives them 50 million. I am here cleaning and God is saying you will remain a clerk there because of that evil heart. Someone can be cleaning and saying, let me listen to the advice. When you become a governor, be a responsible person. And the clerk hears it and writes it down. And someday God says, you have passed the test. Hear me. Every time God gives you an opportunity to serve, he gave you an opportunity to learn. Don't waste it. You will not always be a student. One day, you will be a lecturer yourself. But make sure whilst you are a student, you look beyond the lecturer's limitations and learn what you need to learn. I thank God for today, for the lessons and the privilege and the opportunities that he granted to learn some of the people who God used to teach me were harsh people some of the people who God used to teach me were, I mean they, it was as if they were mising the information can you endure so that you will learn and be built there are many of you you need to see a man of God for instance maybe your pastor or someone and five minutes you say they are wasting my time you put your hand in your pocket what are you doing oh i just started a walk and i just need a blessing or one or two words of advices you won't rise that way already that state qualifies you to remain like that i aspire to be a politician i hear that there are some senators around and let me just hear you know these men are even dull they just rig the election they don't have anything to say and God says, look at the kind of heart that wants to be governor one day. Can I tell you this? Learn to honor everyone ahead of you. They didn't get there by luck. Just because you don't understand how they got there. When you see consistent results, respect it. Even if the persona of the individuals is not inviting, endure. Some of them are your parents. Some of them are your loved ones. Endure. A woman who may have been say for instance a widow for 30 years and yet none of her children has begged for bread and you sit down with one child and you are struggling and she says can i advise you hey, mama you are old school you don't know what to say 30 years you've heard me say it i'm both old and new school it depends on what you are talking about sometimes this idea of new school old school is why people go down it says remove not the ancient landmark don't change what works. Are we together? Now, I tell you the truth by the God of heaven. The season you now are in, no matter what you think about it, that season will not remain like that. Your victory will remain, but seasons change. 
if you obey the advice of Joseph, oh man of God, politician, man, woman, your season can always remain rainy and bright. But just because Egypt has food does not mean the whole world has food. It was one man's advice that kept them to the point that even Jacob, although he was a prophet, hunger drove him to Egypt. Because even as a prophet, he was not discerning to know. There are parents today who can go to be with the Lord with joy. Because they took advantage of the seasons before them. And they built something worthwhile. To the young, you have time. Look for wisdom. To the old, you have wisdom. Please don't die with it. Let the young receive. When God wants to help young men, he takes the wisdom of the old and adds it to the time of the young. That's how he blesses them. Apostle, but I've made so many mistakes in my life and it looks like time is gone. No, time is not gone. Even if you are Abraham, God is able to make time be restored. Now you see the relevance of the statement and I will restore the years. Apostle, I am now 45 years as a man of God. I'm still learning the fundamental rudiments of, of ministry that I should have learned when I was 18, 19. Fear not. The Holy Ghost can accelerate your journey. Apostle, I just got born again when Koinonia started. Where do I start from? All my children are now teenagers. How can I help them? God can help you. That's why he sent us. We represent... The past that you lost. We have come as God's instrument of mercy. Apostle, I lost 30 years. And God says you have gained it back. Now, you may not be able to do anything about yesterday. But you can begin today to be intentional about your life. Intentional about everything you are doing some of you who are in ministry may need to take a break and go and settle down and learn how this thing works rather than shadow boxing and repeating mistakes and failures forever the moment you find out that your life is not producing consistent results do not be ashamed to stop what you are doing and learn some of you right now you are hearing me i'm speaking to you by the spirit do not be ashamed to go back to the school of the spirit and learn you still have time to learn. Apostle, I'm a pastor. God has called me to be a prophet. But I don't know anything about the prophetic. And I'm there misleading people. Find strength, dear brother. Find strength, dear sister. There is still a way. There are many of you who are crying because you have lost seasons. Can I tell you this? You may not be able to do anything about yesterday. But you can do something about today there are some of you whilst you are sitting right now you should go back quickly and look for a further certification quickly because you have two more years left don't allow that door to close don't allow mediocres to flatter you and say you are all right remember your destiny is with kings joseph you are only in the prison for a while don't get the prison life put you down there are men and women of God who need to go for a retreat. All this exposure everywhere. I am a man of God. You need to go down and say, Lord, what is the next 10 years of ministry going to look like? Just because you were relevant yesterday does not mean you will be relevant tomorrow. There are politicians that need to go to God. Lord, show me the blueprint. What is Nigeria going to look like in the next 10 years? What are the secrets of relevance for the next season? And God says, I have told you, call unto me. Hear me, men of God, in the next five, ten years, the dynamics of ministry will not be the way it is right now. Sincerity will not be the only key you need. You need to hear the voice of his majesty telling you this is going to be the way ministry will be like. Businessmen, you may be doing well today, but the next ten years will not be the way it is now. Life is in circles. You must master the circle of your season. And then... The moment you are in a season of greatness, build capacity, build relationships, raise men, follow the great. 
I give you four unbeatable keys. You walk with these keys by the Spirit, whether you are in your rainy or dry season, as for your victory, it will remain untouched. Please rise up on your feet. Rise up on your feet. Let's minimize movement, please. We're almost done. Thank you for your patience. In one minute, I'd just like you to reflect on everything I've said. Outside, inside, following online, all through today's service. The Lord has come with his word of power and word of grace, speaking wisdom to our hearts. The Bible says the laws of the Lord are perfect, reviving the soul. Have I wasted seasons in my life? Some of you are about ending a dry season now. You wasted the rainy season until the dry season revealed that you wasted it. I told you every dry season comes with a letter from the rainy season. I'm coming back. Some of you, God is about to give you another chance with life and destiny. Can you make up your mind? Oh, Samson, you lost your hair, you lost your eyes. But once again, the power is coming again. Make sure you do not make the mistake of yesterday. Turn your contemplation into a prayer right now. Lord, show me mercy and help me to maximize the seasons of my life to maximize the seasons of my days is someone praying some of you the seven lean cows have eaten up the seven fat ones but God is giving you another dream oh Pharaoh God is giving you another dream and he has sent his Joseph to give you the interpretation oh king the dream that you have seen is one you saw it twice because it is established Build capacity during your day. Build relationships during your day. Raise men during your day. Follow successful people in the kingdom. Follow those who have paid the price to, 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 to put a, 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 a track record of consistency. Please pray. Some of you may need to ask God for forgiveness and mercy. Lord, I repent for insulting the credibility and the track record and the, and, the, and the consistency of those who have gone ahead of me. Now I am in their shoes and I see. Someone pray. Pray for these four keys in your life. Please pray them in one minute. Lord, I reject laziness. You may pray, I'm still a young man. Hard work does not kill. Diligence does not kill. I receive grace to burn the candles in the night. I receive grace to buy the books and study. I receive grace to submit to mentorship. I receive grace to be diligent, to build capacity. Is the oil and many vessels that equals profit. It is the oil and many vessels that equals profit. Even if the oil is genuine and the vessels are small, profit will not come. Pray. Lord, bring strategic destiny relationships to my life. Connect me to genuine destiny relationships. Relationships that build, that I will draw from in the days and the times of need. Can you pray for the grace to raise men? Lord, let me not only be a receiver, let me raise men, even if your children. Let there be someone today who can say thank god i can eat because someone raised me thank god i am great are you praying don't waste your political office don't waste your office dear man of god it is not the cars you are buying it is not just the anointing you have it's not just the clothes you are wearing the man you are raising is your real world
Alléluia. Listen. I know many of you are crying. I want you to go back, listen to this message again. Everyone, please just take it as a spiritual instruction. Go back, go back to YouTube. Listen to it. The law of seasons. And listen to it praying. And find the areas where you are already making mistakes. Because for every one of us here, the dream of Pharaoh must happen to you. You will have seven years of plenty. And you will have seven years where the lean cows will eat up the great ones. You will not always have that person give you money every week. Now that you are getting the money every week, make sure you save and begin to do something reasonable in your life. You will not always have a free access. People just give you access. One day, it will not be as easy as this. I remember years ago, I used to tell my beloved precious people in Zaria, they are following connecting by faith. And I used to tell them those days, my dear people, I love you with all my heart. Listen, one day you will not have it easy like this again. I used to draw me to say, now that you have the chance, ask the questions, learn, receive the impartations. Some paid attention, some didn't. Seasons have changed. When you make the same mistake twice, it means there is a deficiency of wisdom. When we make mistakes once, it's called our humanity. When we make mistakes twice, it's called lack of wisdom. For some of you, I'm about to pray. That's why I said no movement. There is a prayer I want to pray for you. This is where the power of God comes into place. Some of you, the clock has shifted. If you have to wait until it goes round, by the time it comes back, you may be 70 years. The prophetic is able to take it back again and say Lord give me another chance you gave me three men of God three millionaires godly siblings and I wasted that opportunity take the hands back again and give me a chance I will be wiser at this time you gave me someone who was willing to send me to Harvard to go and study and he said think about it as though they charmed him I wasted that season right now i'm even looking for money just to do a three-day course and i don't have it lord would you send such helpers again now i am wiser lord you brought all kinds of anointed men to my life i wasted the opportunity with familiarity and dishonor can you please bring them again one of the most powerful scriptures in the bible is that an adam knew his wife again again means another chance some of you here hear me our time is gone but this will be one of the most powerful message you would have heard you were connected to great business partners but you did not have the patience to learn rather than learning their values and their virtues you were looking for money all the discussions today you would have been a very strong person i'm sorry to say it. please don't feel bad there are people who had the opportunity to own lands in hectares in this Abuja. They were in this city where land was one million, five million. Till today, they don't have a plot. There are ministries that had opportunities to buy acres of land. Don't always say tomorrow is there. Remember the dream of Pharaoh the mystery of Pharaoh's dream is both a warning and a roadmap the ease you have today may not always be so until you program it through your obedience I want to pray for you I really came here tonight with a strong burden I've not as, as I'm standing here I tell you before the Lord it's only God is by the strength of the Lord I'm standing here but it's the passion from my heart because I knew that necessity is laid upon me if I do not teach this some of you are in an injury time in your destiny right now just because nothing has happened yet does not mean nothing will happen you can choose to correct it this night or you can sit and say it does not matter nice preaching Rema preach preacher 
and then the seasons will catch up with you. Apostle, I had an opportunity when I was put in an office. In that office, it exposed me to relationships. I insulted everybody. And I said, don't worry. Now the person who was sweeping outside is now the owner of a big real estate company somewhere. I cannot even go and tell him, help me, because I'm ashamed. Believers, we must be wise. We do not have every time to live on earth. Treat people with caution. Treat people with courtesy. Treat people with honor. You may be a wealthy man. Someone may be around you wearing a shoe that looks like he just got it by the roadside. Don't look down on people because of this and that. Let me see how much do you have? Who is your father? Who is your mother? Be careful. The person who is great has already shown you his future. The one who is coming, you don't know how far he can become. This is why I feel sorry for people who tear down people and criticize. You must be careful. You hear that a family has lost a loved one. Don't start arguing and moving around. Rush there and say, how can I help? You hear that a pastor is in pain. Don't sit down and be assessing and talking nonsense. Rush there. Oh, a woman had a miscarriage. I've always told them, mm -mm. How can I help? How can I pray? Always be there at the point of people's pain. Sooner or later, you will forget what I've preached, but you will never forget the experience of this encounter. Edge yourself in the history of men's rising. Let them not forget you. Don't wait until people have arrived and you come and claim a stake in their destiny. They will not open the door for you like that. When you find hurting people, don't ignore them. If you cannot do anything, then keep quiet. But don't add to the heart. Someone is trying to raise money for his house rent. And you are seeing him do his best. All these young boys. <clears throat> if you can help, help. If you cannot help, bid him Godspeed and walk away. Do not let people remember you for evil. Has someone learned something today? now that you know these things the bible says happy are you if you do them i pray for you please don't kneel just stand in the name that is above all names for every season that you have not utilized well seasons of opportunity your seven years that you may have wasted either as a result of ignorance as a result of mistakes I call upon the God of my covenant and in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God let there be restoration of seasons for you let there be restoration of seasons for you for many of you strategic relationships opportunities to have lifted you today I call on my God who is your God let there be restoration may god give you another opportunity in the name of jesus christ hear me some of you the lord is ministering to me please listen there are some of you some of your parents are still alive you have never sent anything to them it's just to complain you are a millionaire and mama is there staying in a rented apartment drinking water from the well god is speaking to you whether you like it or not one day they will not be there can you give them the memory of joy and glory before they go to be with the lord can i tell you this use every opportunity you have now because it will not be there the hymn writer says toss will we pass from the earth and its toiling he says only remembered by what we have done thank god for cars but cars will not go with you thank god for qualifications but it will not go with you thank god for reputation apostle joshua selman it does not go to the grave and it does not go to heaven nor hell find the things that matter in this life and commit yourself invest in them and the sons of issachar 
men who had an understanding of the times and they knew what Israel ought to do. Again, I pray for you. Anybody who should be in your life in this season, but lack of discernment took them out of your life. I call upon the God of heaven. May they return back to your destiny now. Every opportunity you lost, either due to ignorance or dishonor, I pray for you. May the God of all grace and all mercy, may he restore those seasons for you now. Hear me? For some of you, you are at the threshing floor. Remember, you are at a defining moment. A few weeks ago, I came with a prophetic word here that people were ending seasons and beginning another one. Can I tell you this? The grace to maximize this season you are in now, in the name of Jesus Christ, receive the wisdom and the grace. Receive the wisdom and the grace. Receive the wisdom and the grace. Man of God, there may be certain levels of the anointing you should have had by now. But because of carelessness, like the hair of Samson, I pray for you. In the name of Jesus, you should have get, gotten into deeper levels of the prophetic. Deeper levels of revelation. Deeper levels of prayer. Deeper levels of fasting. But you lost these things. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you. Let there be restoration tonight. Hear me, those in business, we're wrapping up. Some of you lost opportunities. God gave you opportunities. Today you would have been feeding not only your family, but everybody around you. But you are still at a level where you are begging. And time is going. I pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, who is the son of the living God. Leave him, leave him. Just leave the gentleman. Don't worry, let him be. I pray for you. By the power that raised Christ from the dead. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord turn the hands of time for your sake. Hear me? Jacob had an opportunity for an encounter in Genesis 28. He wasted it through lack of discernment. He says, surely the Lord is in this place and I knew not. By the time we get to Genesis 32, Jacob was prepared. When that man came, he held on to him. He said, I made this mistake and I paid the price for over 20 years. There are mistakes when you make, even though you are restored, it will take time. I pray for you. Any mistake that will eat up your years, any mistake that will eat up the remaining part of your destiny, may my God and your God take it out of your life. Some of you, now is the time to seek the Lord. You keep laughing at people. Oh, these spirit cocoa people, you say. Now is the time to seek the Lord. Because the time will come when you may not have the liberty to do what you are doing. I pray for you. Whatever has destroyed your spiritual fire and your zeal for the things of God. When you were on campus, people were getting born again. You laughed at them. It cost you 10 years. Now God is giving you another chance. Don't wait until 20 years from now before you take Jesus serious. In the name of Jesus, let there be restoration of fire. <laughs> Hear me? There are multi-millionaires today and billionaires. There were times where those people were friends to many of our loved ones. They were giving them free opportunities for mentorship. But they did not listen. And now it's costing them a lot some of the bankers some of the top people today respectfully speaking some of them have classmates all around who would have easily taught them but they fail to maximize seasons may god restore those seasons for you in the name of jesus christ koinonia hear me i stand by the privilege of god's grace and i announce to you if there is any season that is about to open up in your life for shame and for destruction by the mercy of God we reverse it now
Wave your hands to Jesus and give him thanks. Wave it as an act of worship. Lord, we thank you. Thank you for giving us wisdom. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now listen to me. Our time is gone. I sincerely apologize for stretching you this long. But I just had to do it. Just give me two minutes and we're done. There is no cajoling. For someone, the season for your salvation is now. There's no need pretending. You know you need Jesus. You are inside and you're outside and say, Apostle, I'm about to end the first season of my life, the first 25 years, or the second 25 years, or the third one, wherever you are. Apostle, I want to run to Jesus and make it right. Or you are saying, I once gave my heart to Jesus, but it looks like things have gone haywire. Give me the honor of leading you afresh to Jesus. Please, let's stand. We're wrapping up. Everyone inside, the overflows outside, please let them come. I'm going to count one to five. Please leave your seat and honorably come and stand before Jesus. Ready to receive that gift of salvation. One. Don't wait for anyone to be the first. Win that war. Come. Run to Jesus. Are there people coming? Celebrate them. Please celebrate them, Koinonia. I must walk the works of him while it is day. Regardless what you have done, regardless how it is, come. Stand before Jesus. He gives you a new beginning. He gives you a new beginning. Koinonia, keep clapping. Let's encourage them as they come. Please, if you're coming, double up. I'm about to pray right now. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Thank you. Thank you for coming. You are hidden to the wisdom of Joseph. Remember, the time will come where you may not have this convenience to make this decision again. Don't wait until you are in a sick bed, unable to talk where you have to use your hand to say, I want Jesus. Now you have health and you can speak. Don't run away from Jesus. He can give you a new beginning. It doesn't matter how you have been. Let no man condemn you. This is the house of God. The family of faith. Lift your right hand high to the heavens. Please say this after me loud and clear. Say Lord Jesus. Tonight I have heard your word. I declare that you are my savior. You are my Lord. And you are my king. I receive forgiveness of sin. I receive the abundance of grace even the gift of righteousness and i declare that i reign in life from today the power of sin satan hell and the grave is broken over my life i declare that i'm a child of god a new